It is Tuesday morning, back to work. Yesterday was a holiday. Yesterday was civic holiday, Monday. And all I did was... Actually, I played Pokemon with Tristan. We, uh, we went to one of the places where I usually stock up on supplies, Pokemon supplies, and he was spinning stops for me. So we did that yesterday, and then it got really hot, 40 degrees, and so it was warm. This morning we went running. We went running yesterday too, uh, Tristan and Mason and same distance as we usually do so oh and um marie and i were talking we're thinking about signing tristan and i up for good life which is a gym around here instead of the gym that we usually go to just because when tristan turns 14 his cost at the gym that we're going to i think increases to 150 a month or a lot it can't be 150 a month i know it's a lot and so um yeah, well, I'll just join the new gym with him, which will be a lot cheaper. I can't remember how much a month, but it's not 150. Uh, it is Monday, August 7th, and no, it is Tuesday, August 7th, and we just uh, are coming off uh, from a long weekend. It was nice. Yesterday, though, we had some very severe thunderstorms and rainstorms, and um, it was at one point very ferocious and scary, I'm not going to lie. Um, that said, I also have water bin full of rain water so I can use it to water my plants today but it's supposed to rain a couple more times this week hopefully the grass gets a little bit watered and a bit more green because they're looking flopsy I'm on my way to chapters right now just coming out of the gym um, I didn't do much at the gym I've been kind of sore uh, from yoga yesterday and other weights um, I feel a bit lazy ish so I was only on the treadmill for half an hour and then like I said I'm on my way to chapter uh, Mason's birthday is in a couple of days from now it's actually his champagne birthday he's turning nine on the ninth and uh, I'm going to get him a couple of presents from chapters that he wants just small stuff and also uh, the Harry Potter special edition uh, where you have the house colors um, as uh, book covers came out with the second volume Chamber of Secrets now Last year, I didn't bother getting the Philosopher's Stone, or actually, I lie, I actually got the soft cover of the Philosopher's Stone. But now that I think about it, I might just get all four sets, all four houses for all the four volumes. So each volume comes every year now to commemorate the 20th anniversary release of each volume. So last year was the 20th anniversary of the Philosopher's Stone. And this year is the Chamber of Secrets and so forth until they collect and release all six volumes of Harry Potter. And each six will also be in the four different house colors. Now, initially I was going to mix and match the house colors. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that. I already do have a beautiful collection set of Harry Potter in the American edition that's illustrated actually and in a trunk. Um, but I feel like this is actually nice to have and keep and uh, I don't know leave behind for the kids they will be the first edition of course of the 20th anniversary release and I just can't commit to which house I mean definitely want to get Gryffindor um, but there's also the Ravenclaw Slytherin and Hufflepuff colors that are pretty awesome um, they did come as soft covers so at first I was like maybe I'll get like Gryffindor in the hardcover set and then the rest of them in soft covers but the hardcover sets actually have the paper part of it like so opposite of the spine in um, the colors of the scarves so there's actually a nice contrasting color there not just the pure colors of the house so because I am a book lover and a book collector and a book hoarder technically this might mean we might have 24 volumes of Harry Potter six times four houses I don't know is that crazy I only have three kids but yeah, I just can't come into which house. I feel like maybe if I don't buy a color, it will be the Hufflepuff color, but then I feel like I will regret not buying it. I don't know. This is collector's dilemma for sure. As if I don't have enough books already. But they are so pretty. So here I am in chapters and we're in the kids section. And we're in the Harry Potter section specifically. So this is what I mean, Harry Potter was released last year, first edition, The Philosopher's Stone, and it came in this hardcover edition. This is, of course, the Gryffindor house, and what's cool is really all this 
design like the scarf. So the Philosopher's Stone also came out, of course, in the Slithering version and the Ravenclaw. And I do want to get one here right now, but it feels like the Ravenclaw is the one that's best in um, condition, just because again, that is a little bit of a damage. So I'm going to see if I can find it online. So the Philosopher's Stone is of course also now available 20th anniversary edition in soft covers. So you have the Slytherin house and the Gryffindor and they're missing of course the Hufflepuff. Now that said, it's also come out the Chamber of Secrets and um, the different house colors as well. So these are the recently released in hardcovers and I guess it's in killer to see that it's more popular in the soft covers just because I'm not sure if many people are actually investing in these hardcovers but for today I think I'm going to go and buy these two the Philosopher's Stone and the Chamber of Secrets or both the blocks. Yep, so I bought some presents for Mason's birthday and committed to the Ravenclaw edition of Philosopher's Stone. <laughs>